What's up guys, good morning. Hopefully you had a great weekend. We got another Molin update for you. I'm gonna be showing you the charts today and really what I'm looking for this week. I'm still bullish on Molin. Of course, none of this is financial advice. I'm not a financial advisor. I'm just telling you what I do, giving you my opinion, and you gotta make the best decisions for you and your family. Hopefully you guys had a great weekend. Hopefully you went outside, you walked away from the computers, the phones, you know, went and got some fresh air, moved your body. That's also very important as you're building wealth. A lot of times we can get locked in on this stuff and then it messes with our head and we start to get into some certain moods that really doesn't help us in life in the long run. So you definitely wanna take breaks from this stuff sometimes. But today we got an exciting video for you. Gonna give you some updates on Mullen. Don't forget to grab your coffee. Here's mine. Gotta love coffee. Let's get right into it, guys. Looking at the charts, it's very simple. We can see some things that are telling us where we might move next, right? The positive thing for Mullen is we held this support on this ascending trend line right here. You can see my blue arrow right here. We made a new higher low, okay? That has me still bullish on Mullen. It's lining up with the technicals. Now, could we break down from here and go lower? Yes, so you wanna be aware of that. But really what I'm looking for next, guys, is for us to fill this open gap right here at 36, 37 cents. 36, 37 cents is an open gap. Usually Mullen likes to fill these gaps. So could we get some good news this week, maybe Tuesday with the meeting with David and that other CEO for HLBZ? Could we get some more news uh, in regards to just Molin Company this week that helps push us up. We've had a huge fall this last week of over 37%, right? So that's very scary, especially for people that just got into Molin stock. But I want to tell you, look at all these other swings we've had before, right? We've crashed 40%, 45%, but we've also ran 100%, 200% in a matter of a week. So again, you got to look at the big picture, look at the company. Do you believe in Mullen still? Yes, this isn't the best where we're at right now, but we do need a pop here soon, or we could potentially break down further. Now, the stochastic is low. When it's been low before, we usually tend to move up, but there has been some times before that we have broken down even more, even though the stochastic is super low and usually it pops from here. So you wanna be aware of everything. You wanna do what's best for you. Again, this is not financial advice. This is just what I'm seeing right now. Another thing that I've been studying very closely this last 12 months is the news that they put out. And Mullen so far for February has only put out two pieces of news. They always put at least three pieces of news out every single month for the last 12 months. So I do believe that Mullen will put out more news this week. I don't think David is scamming us. I think there's a lot of things we don't know. I think David wants Mullen to be a successful company. There's too many partnerships, too many deals, too much good news that has been happening. I'm really looking forward to Menzies, the Menzies pilot program coming to an end after the 60 days. I believe that's coming up probably this next month in March. So that's a very interesting time frame because also quarter one ends in March. We should get an update with Randy Marion. We've gotten an update with Igo, which you could see. Obviously that arrived in Europe, which is a really good sign. So you gotta look at all the pieces, right? The commercial is the focus right now. Retail will be later with the Molin 5 in 2024. We got Bollinger Motors still as well. We got Menzies, we have Igo. There's so much going for Molin right now that I have to have some of my money in this stock because I've been in it too long. I see the picture. Do I think we'll get to a dollar? Eventually, yes. Is that my target this week? No. Okay, so you just gotta be realistic and you have to understand the charts and how they move. Of course, guys, if you wanna learn more about the charts and really what I see next for Mullen and how I'm playing my cards with buying and selling Mullen stock, check out the Patreon down below. It's $7 a month, not a whole lot of money. I just made a nine minute video right here explaining exactly what I think Mullen will do in the next couple weeks. I honestly believe it's the most important video I've ever made. So check it out. Don't forget guys, everyone was once fearful about a reverse stock split, but I believe that has been extended now till September, September 7th, I think. If I'm wrong, correct me down below in the comments. But again, if we have so much time to get to a dollar, we have till September, that's really good news. This could be a, a scare tactic right now. 
We've seen how Mullen has moved before. So the goal is to get retail out and then the stock might move up like it has before. Imagine all the people that were selling at 18 cents and then it ran over 130% in the next couple of weeks. So do you wanna be that person? I don't know, you gotta evaluate your risks, you gotta do what's best for you. Enjoy the holiday today if you're not working. My business is always running, so I'll be working today. Wanted to make a video for you guys this week. We'll see you tomorrow, enjoy.